Welcome to another tutorial on solving XM riddles in organic chemistry. Recently, we have discussed that this molecule with a carboxylic acid functionality and an olefin will react with iodine in the presence of a base, forming this functionalized lactone. And this type of reaction is called the iodolactonization. So, the mechanism of this reaction, the iodine will react with the olefin, forming this iodonium cation, a three-membered cationic ring. And now, in the next step, a nucleophilic substitution will take place, an SN2 process. That oxygen or this one, well, it doesn't matter since uh, those, the negative charge is mesomerically stabilized between those oxygens. So one of the oxygen will attack as a nucleophile and an oxygen carbon bond is formed while at the same time the carbon iodine bond is broken. Well, this reaction proceeds through a rather linear geometry. And that means on this side that oxygen will be easily able to reach out to this posi position on a linear trajectory. However, on the other side, well, it seems to be more difficult because it has to reach out so far to get into the trajectory. That means that here, the reaction, there is no kinetic hindrance or not a serious kinetic hindrance from this side it seems to be far more difficult. And that means the reaction to this product, according to Baldwin, it would be the 5 exotet product, the 5 exotet ring closure reaction, is kinetically favored compared to this product, which is the product of a 6 exotet cyclization. So, this is the kinetic argument. How about the thermodynamic argument? This is much simpler. So, here we have the cyclohexane moiety drawn in the chair configuration, con chair conformation, with this methylene group in an axial position and that oxygen and the iodine in the preferred equatorial position. At the cyclohexane chair, hexane chair, the large substituents always wish to occupy equatorial positions to avoid the steric 1-3 interaction. So, this CH2 group interacts with this hydrogen and that hydrogen. It's a repulsive interaction. So, but only one of the large substituents is in, equat in, in axial position. Here we have the oxygen, the methylene group, and the iodine all three large substituents in the axial position and all are experiencing 1-3 diaxial interactions. So, and therefore, this one is thermodynamically less favored than this. So, that five-membered ring product is both kinetically and thermodynamically favored. Thanks for listening.